Let us know the history of photosynthesis. In 320 BC, ancient Indians believed that plants fed from feet, padapa, refers to a plant which drinks from the feet. In 1727, Stephen Hales recognized the importance of light and air in the nourishment of plants. In 1779, Jan Ingenhaus discovered that the green parts of the plant purify the polluted air in the presence of light. In 1782, Senebio showed that as the concentration of carbon dioxide increases, the rate of oxygen evolution also increases. In 1845, Von Mayer recognized that green plants convert solar energy into chemical energy of organic matter. In 1845, Liebig pointed out that the organic matter was derived from carbon dioxide and water. In 1920, Warburg introduced the unicellular green alga that is chlorella as a suitable material to study about photosynthesis. In 1932, Emerson and Arnold showed that the existence of light and dark reactions in photosynthesis. In 1937, Hill demonstrated that photolysis of water by isolated chloroplasts in the presence of suitable electron acceptors. In 1941, Rubin and Camo used oxygen-18 to show that oxygen comes from water in photosynthesis. In 1954, Arnon, Allen and Batley used carbon dioxide-14 to show the fixation of carbon dioxide by isolated chloroplasts. In 1954, Calvin traced the path of carbon in photosynthesis and gave C3 cycle that is the Calvin cycle and was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1960. In 1965, Hatch and Slack reported the C4 pathway for carbon dioxide fixation in certain tropical grasses. In 1966,